Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. We have Hoender in the upper left hand corner as the orange Protoss. Nice contrasting color to Hoff, who is going to be in the bottom right hand corner as the green Protoss. This is on Overwatch, BSL Overwatch. This is the losers match. Uh, first match, I decided to do losers first. I kind of like doing the losers first just because then you can see who's going into the winners match. Uh, as far as what, you know, it's the, it feels more decided streaming now that I think about it. So maybe I'll, I'll stick with that in the meantime. When the MSL casts it, they always do the winner's match first, so you know who's advanced and who's going to be spotted on the opposite end of the bracket. I like doing it this way, so I'm going to do it this way. Um, Hoender, I gotta say, that was some... I, I don't think I've seen that build PvP before, and I like it, because Hoender just getting caught complete. that's exactly how you want that executed, where you just catch your opponent completely off guard, there's a lot of opportunities for that to go right for Jess. Either getting the clumped unit size stormed while Hoender doesn't have his unit spread, and as a result, just ends up taking too much damage and the reaver the reavers can't make up the difference. Um, catching observers in the storm, and the observers getting picked off, and then the DT just cleans absolutely everything off and just can literally just back off with the High Templar and go back to the front and defend from there. Inside gateway from Hoender. Kind of an interesting, I kind of like that positioning actually. Gateway a little bit further out from Hoff. Hoff sending out a probe scout after gate. And a probe scout moving out for Hoender as well a little bit later. This is a, kind of a larger ramp. I still think you can, I'm not sure if you need two units or one to block it. Overwatch I think is a BSL exclusive map. Don't quote me on that. But neither player, is, because it's two player and because it's sizable like this, neither player is gonna be able to deny scout overall assimilator being built and I think that leads to more Dragoon openers rather than and plus the ramp and the high ground advantage I think that leads to players oftentimes skipping the Zealot first and uh, and going more for uh, just Dragoons straight Dragoons Cybernetics facility and we'll see if that holds yeah no Dragoon or no no Zealot yet from either player because just the distance as well oh I take it back Hoff building a Zealot no Zealot for Hollander I think that's the right call actually I'm gonna call out Hoff I don't think a Zealot's good here just because the sheer distance that needs to be traversed. Um, yeah. And again, I like that pylon from Hoender, just in case that probe sneaks around and get trapped by the Dragoon. Uh, proxy, or sorry, Manor pylon for Hoender, which is going to block off here and trap a probe. And it just makes mining a little bit more delayed. Does get the probe scout, so Hoender is going to end up losing that. So this opens up an opportunity for Hop to do something creative. But it's not... She, if she does do something, if, if Hoff does something creative, I don't know, Hoff's uh, gender, can place it down here because the pylon also provides kind of a latent proxy scout. And I like the matter pylon when it's a more, I think that matter pylon on Hoender was more expecting there not to be Zealot out here on a map like this, so it could be Hoff who was like, you know, I might get matter pylon, let me go ahead and produce the Zealot, so I digress altogether. Still no range. By the way, for Hoff, Hoff uh, trying to move in with that probe scout and keep it alive, but gets wiped out. So that's going to be it for that information. Hoff uh, with that Dragoon out in the front. Both players starting range up right now. Hoff is positioning a little bit as though... I was about to say, positioning a little bit towards the front as though this is going to be more of a, a defensive, I'm denying a scout and want to go for... A natural expansion instead moving across with units maybe wanting to get additional information or at least see if this probe if she can get if you can get to this ramp that's critical because that ramp cuts off a lot of, of space dragoon is going to be right here is it going to catch that probe though no so hoender is going to be able to get a follow-up scout that's a second gateway plop down so i think this is going to be a two gate robo from hoff single dragoon engaging hoender getting some free shield damage enough time that will make a difference one gate into robo from hoender so it's possible we'll see one gate observe and i think that is with the confidence of knowing there's a bit delayed mining time and that perhaps this probe might be able to sneak in and get some additional information the critical thing is is can uh go ahead and kill the vision here can hoender get in here and see this natural expansion and get a good look at the unit count so sees there sees that there's a nexus sees the two dragoons and the Zealot, and is a, and that's a huge amount of information, to be honest. Third gateway now for Hoff. 
Now the question is, is does Hoender have the wherewithal to realize that maybe a Nexus could be a little bit too risky here? Could be a little bit too risky. Looks like he's saving up that 400 minerals for that Nexus. And he's building the observatory. This is, this might be a build order loss for Hoender. We'll see. Um, has that Nexus building, but going against three gateway opener, unless you have that robotics facility and the Reavers out on the front door, um, that, yeah, that can, that can be that. Off staging out that natural expansion, clicking a pylon right there. Robotics facility as well to get an observer. And this is one of those things where the other thing is, is does Hoff realize? So usually when you go three gateways, you are just straight out being, you know, you're being in a position to be more aggressive. Usually the build order on the, and this is where I think Hoender, kind of the deep psychology of it might be working against himself as well. He does have that robotics facility out. If he gets that Reaver and has it on the front when Hoff is moving out with that timing, especially with this bridge, that could be all the difference in the world. Because this is the thing, with this bridge and these sort of continuation attacks, it can it can be disadvantageous for going a lot of those gateway unit first openers. So now the reinforce, yeah, and Hoff actually backing off. So Hoender actually switching back because Hoff a little bit delayed with this, grouping up, gonna go the far way around. I'm not sure the full reasoning behind that. Maybe not wanting to get reinforcements cut off. Maybe just wanting to get the scout to make sure there's... It would be really crazy of Hoender to go for a three base at this stage, but what this is allowing is this is allowing Hoender to get that Reaver, to crawl this Reaver out to the front. And I think Hoff now is gonna end up way, way behind because so you even get a matter of Dragoons plus that Reaver, it'll come down to micromanagement, of course. But this Reaver provides enough space to get that defense, and eventually that Nexus is going to provide that additional support. So now diving in. Good spread damage on that attack, and you can see Hoff backing out. Does have that bridge defense established. That Observer is making its way across the field, and upon seeing these two units, also seeing that Observer moving across the field, should realize that, okay, this is going to be a more aggressive attack. Putting that shield battery on the front, that will help pad the difference getting honestly two yeah two additional gateways that's needed so if Ho hoender defense he wins hoff planting a nexus honestly i say cancel the nexus plop down more gateways because you're far enough behind maybe that's what's going to happen upon spotting this sneaking forward getting one single shot but the thing is is that reaver with that shield battery that's not going to get picked off hoff diving into this and i think that and plus that second reaver with more shield battery energy to follow. Yeah. Hoff in big trouble now. Way behind in the probe count. Yeah, there's GG. And knows it. So Hoender initially looking like he might have gotten taken out. But instead, uh, just because, yeah, timing of everything works out. I think that might just be the the timing, that's, the way that works out with this map overall as well. Well played by Hoender. We will move into match two momentarily. Thanks you. Thank you guys for listening.